Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I will be giving you the All-Star Game Ballot, um, my finalists, and um, phase two of the All-Star Voting finalists, I'm going to give you them, uh, so let's get right into it. I just want to say before I continue with this video, I have a Padre hat, and I am a Padre fan, as I think most of you all know. But I think Jake Cronenworth was snubbed for the All-Star, for the All-Star game. I think he was absolutely snubbed. He he has been playing am uh, amazing. Um, he won the NL Player of the Week this week, and he has just been doing phenomenal. Maybe there's a bi maybe there's bias. Pro pro there's some bias into it, but um, I do think that Jake Cronenworth deserves some recognition. Okay guys, so here we are in the all-star ballot over here. These are the three finalists. Um, as honestly, I'm, I just want to say something. I think the all-star game is a popularity contest. It's, it's, I don't think Jose Abreu should be on here to be quite frank. Um, I'm not sure if Rizzo should be on here either, um, but let's just Let's just get on it. So, American League. Um, Vlad. It's going to be Vlad. I mean, just look at the numbers right here. 344 average. 26 home runs. 66 RBIs. 1,130 OPS. This guy has been... He's just... He's been doing amazing this year. And he, it seems like he has not gone through a slump all year, it seems like. Vlad is a candidate for the Triple Crown. Um, it's 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 incredible, and obviously the batting average will be the hardest to keep up. But I mean, just look at that average, three forty four. Um, Yuli Gurriel is also having a hell of a season, but I don't think he is worthy of uh, of a spot right now. And Yuli Gur Gurriel is clutch in. Um, with runners in scoring position, so I'll give him that. He's probably done better than Vlad. And Vlad, of course, as we know, um, candidate for the home run race. So, yeah. Um, National League, Freddie Freeman leads um, the votes with first. Rizzo, Muncy, Freeman. And uh, let's take a look at Freddie Freeman's stats. 253. And none of these guys' averages are, like, 280-ish, they're not crazy good, but they're there, they're just, they're pretty much average, and, um, Anthony Rizzo, his pop has declined, and the person with the most RBIs is Freeman with 43, but Muncie has the higher OPS than Freeman, um, but really, I think I have to, I, 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 don't, I don't want to give it to this person, but I think I have to. Max Muncy is my um, is my vote right now. Second base: Jose Altuve, DJ Lemayu, Marcus Semyon. Um, Jose Altuve has been ha honestly it put the chi, it put the scandal aside uh, for a bit. Altuve honestly has been playing great baseball and of course the glove is horrible it's horrible it's 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 really bad to be quite frank and uh altuve 286 average 17 homers 43 rbis 875 ops great numbers honestly um dj lemayu is also here seven homers 30 rbis 273 average 721 ops marcus semyon um, 286 average, 19 home runs, 50 RBIs, 883 OPS. Um, so overall, it seems like Marcus Semyon has been having the better year in OPS. He has the more RBIs, has the most homers, and he's tied for the, for the best um, batting average. So I'm looking at the stats here, and I'm going to go with Marcus Semyon. Lock it in second base on uh, the other side. Ozzy Albies, Adam Frazier, and Gavin Lux. 
Okay, first of all, this guy should not be here. Gavin Lux should not be here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, by looking at his stats, look at it. 229 average, 6 homers, 32 RBIs, 664 OPS. If there's any Dodger fans that are watching this video, he should not be worthy of the All-Star Game. Adam Frazier and Albies probably are the two candidates. Frazier leads it in voting Albies um, in second, I would assume. And my vote, I would put in Ozzy Albies. Um, Wait, let's just change the vote. Uh, that way we can go over Frazier's stats. But I would go with Albies as he's hitting for more pop. And um, I think Albies deserves it. I'm not sure about Frazier. I think he is going to be gone in the deadline. He doesn't hit for pop. He gets a lot of singles. Not many extra base hits. He's not exactly an RBI machine. As you can see, Gavin Lux has more RBIs than him. But his OPS is better than both. Um, so that's something that does stand out for Madden Frazier, but I'm gonna go with Ozzy Albies. Honestly, Ozzy Albies is a really good player. Third baseman, Alex Bregman, Devers, Moncada for the AL. And, um, once again, put the scandal aside, Alex Bregman has been having a very nice year himself. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure if he, there, there could be... Another player that you could put in, I, I don't know who could that be, but I'm not sure if y'all Makata also should be here. 5 homers, 35 ribbies, 7, 795 OPS, 275 batting average, Rafael Devers, 282 average, 19 homers, 64 RBIs with a 924 OPS. Who cares about his glove right here? Honestly, Devers is a top offensive player in the league. And, um, he's certainly, uh, got my vote. Nolan Arenado, Chris Bryant, Justin Turner. Now here, <clears throat> is gonna be very tough. Um, they all have very similar stats. Um, if you look at Arenado, he has 16 homers, more than anyone here. Um, Chris Bryant, 15, Turner, 12, all similar. 52 RBIs, Arenado, Bryant, 41, Turner, 40, Chris Bryant, and Justin Turner are right in the same, um, they have the same numbers for RBIs, and the OPS is almost the same, with a 847 OPS for Chris Bryant, and Justin Turner with a 849 OPS. Now, really, this one's tough. Arenado has a 836 OPS, he has more RBIs, his batting average is, um, better than Bryant's, but Turner has a better av batting average than Arenado, so it's really even, it's really close, but, um, I don't know, this is gonna be very, very tough, um, I'm gonna give it to Nolan Arenado, I think he has been, just, been doing really well, but, um, and I know, um, I think the voters are actually doing a pretty good job. I would agree as well that he should be the first in voting for the third baseman um, in the NL. Now, shortstop. Okay. Bo Bichette, Xander Bogarts, Carlos Correa. Um, the first thing that I look at between these three players is that Bo, Bo Bichette has the lowest batting average out of all of them, so that's going to be a bit crucial. Um, 283 average, 327 for Bogarts, Carlos Correa 300. And uh, uh, Bichette is tied for the most homers um, right here in, out of these three players. So he has, he has some pop and we all know that. 53 RBIs, he has the most out of everyone here. Uh, 817 OPS, but when you look at Xander Bogarts' OPS, it's all that superstar caliber. So... Um, Carlos Correa, 929 OPS, that's also superstar caliber, but honestly, I think I have to give it to Bogey, he has been doing amazing this year, and I, I just, I can't see any other player um, getting the nod, shortstop, um, for the National League now, Javi Baez, Brandon Crawford, Fernando Tatis Jr., um, let's go ahead and analyze it. 
Javi Baez, 228 average, 18 homers, 49 RBIs, 744 OPS. Brandon Crawford, 854 OPS, which is amazing. 248 average, 17 homers, 51 RBIs, 295 average for Tatis, 25 homers. Uh, tied first in all of the National League, uh, 55 RBIs, 1000 OPS. And um, I believe he has a plus 100 OPS plus, so that also is big for the piece. Um, and I'm going with that piece, honestly, so there's really no question here. Um, Javi Baez has been striking out more. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that, but the strikeout numbers have gone up. <coughs> and um, yeah. Now the catch position. This is where I have a little bit of a problem um, on the American League side. I don't like this. I don't think Martin Maldonado should be here. I think you, you could put in someone like Sean Murphy. And I guess Yasmani Grandal can be here. But I just, I look at the average. I mean, he's hitting, both of these guys are hitting below the Mendoza line. The Mendoza line. And that's just concerning. These guys shouldn't be here. Honestly, I think it has to be Salvi. I can't. 566 OPS for Maldonado. 181 average. 180 average for Grandal. Even though his OPS is great. It, it, it doesn't make sense. I don't I don't understand why he's here. Why both of these guys are here. I would choose I would choose uh, two different guys. Maybe Sean Murphy. Um and like a Tom Murphy. I don't know. But I don't I just think there could be better guys on here uh, but moving on to the NL side of things Wilson Contreras, Yadier Molina, Buster Posey um, Yadier Molina has a 255, a, 250, a 255 average 7 homers, 34 RBIs, 724 OPS so Yadier Molina is having, I think this is his last year so he's actually having a nice retirement year. I think I think he's retiring. I don't know about you guys, but I think this should be his last year. Um, Buster Posey, this man out of nowhere is doing amazing. He just started the season super hot. 330 average, uh, 12 homers, 27 OPS, 978 OPS. That's incredible. Um, and I believe he's like 35 years old, so Posey's getting up there. He's getting up there in age. Wilson Contreras, uh, 232 average, 13 homers, 30 RBI, 757 OPS. Um, overall, I think the qu there's no question here. I gotta go Buster Posey. Um, so, yeah. Okay. In the outfield now. Okay, so I know Mike Trout leads uh, voting. And Byron Buxton is also there, but, 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 but these guys won't be able to play in the All-Star game. So, Buxton and Trout won't be able to play. These two are injured. I believe you guys should know that, or you guys all know that, but I don't understand why Trout and Buxton are, well, top three in voting in the outfield. I guess it makes sense because of the numbers, but, um... I'm just going to shift towards uh, someone else. Okay. Now, here, there's Michael Brantley. I absolutely love Michael Brantley. I'm actually a big fan of him. Um, Byron Buxton, we're not going to cover him. Same with Mike Trout. But they have been having really good seasons to start it off before they got injured. Adolis Garcia, he also... There was a, there was a point that this dude had like 10 home runs in what, a, like 8 days, 7 days, I don't know, but this guy was on a tear for a bit, then he slowed down, Randall Gritchick has also had a nice year, Teoscar Hernandez has had a really impressive year, he had that breakout season in the pandemic season last year, and Aaron Judge has also been having a great year. Now, uh, Cedric Mullins. This is going to be my first choice. I absolutely love Cedric Mullins. That man deserves some love. Super underrated. 323 average, 14 homers, 30 RBIs, 946 OPS. Hey, he's been he's been doing incredible. And um, 
Alex Verdugo is also on here. Who I love, I, I'm a big fan of Verdugo. Um, uh, I didn't like him when he was with LA, of course, San Diego LA. You, you get the deal. But, um, yeah. I would choose Teoscar and probably Aaron Judge. I think these three are the guys who deserve um, this, the all-star appearance. So, yeah, I have these three guys. And now, um, the outfield. Acuna Jr., Lock, I'm gonna just put it there. Mookie Betts, although his, I like I like the OPS stat right there. He's been having a great year in terms of getting on base. Um, Ten homers, 29 RBIs. Mookie has not had the greatest of seasons, but he's still producing in a very big way for the Dodgers. Nick Castellanos. Now this is a guy um, who I'm 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 still thinking. There's the few guys that I would like to add here, but um, I just can't see much. Um, Bryce Harper, Jock Peterson, Juan Soto, Chris Taylor. There's a lot of names here. And personally, I think I have to go Jesse Winker. And I I, I have to go Castellanos. I, I, I just don't see anyone else, honestly. It's just these guys. So that's just me. Jordan Alvarez, JD Martinez, Shohei Otani for the designated hitter. And, um, oh, oh whoops, oh, whoa, no, 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 misclick, 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 Shohei Otani, this man has been going off, 28 home runs, 63 RBIs, 1,049 OPS, 278 average, and to top it off, this guy has a sub-3 ERA while pitching, he is unhuman, this guy is from another world, um, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, this is my ballot, so let's go over it. Um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Max Muncy at first, Marcus Semyon at second, Ozzy Albies at second um, as well, Rafael Devers at third base, Nolan Arenado, Xander Bogarts and Fernando Tatis Jr., Teoscar Hernandez and Ronald Acuna. Aaron Judge, Nick Castellanos, Cedric Mullins, Jesse Winker, Salvi, and uh, Buster Posey, and then Shohei Otani. So, yeah, that is my ballot. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.